Recently, I've been covering a lot of genres on the channel, but I'm yet to make a UK garage boot. Garage, or for my American viewers, garage, is very much back in the UK with artists like AJ Tracy and Mabel popularizing it and bringing it back to the mainstream. Majority of garage beats are gonna be around 128 BPM and they're gonna be working in a C sharp minor scale. To begin with, I've gone to heat up three and chosen this pluck sound, which I'm gonna use to put down some chords. I want this melody to be quite happy and have some interesting rhythm to it, so I'm gonna play most of it in on my keyboard. Next, I'm going to tidy this up a bit as well as add some passing notes that are going to take me from chord to chord. I want to layer this plucky sound with a pad, so again, I've gone to heat up free and chose the Alien Telepad preset. I'm going to play these chords a little bit more flat so they just sit in the background. Next I've gone to Analog Lab and chose a bell sound and I've gone with the Artemis bell. I'm going to be using this to break the chords up and play an arpeggiated version of them. Next, I want to get some vocals into this melody, so I've chosen some samples from Splice, which I'm now going to chop off. Look at me. Look at me. me, me. Look at me. me, me. Won't ya? Cause I know what I want, want, want. Look at me. me, me. Won't ya? Cause I know what I want, want, want. Look at me. me, me. Look at me, me, me. Oh, yeah. Look at me, me, me. Oh, yeah. Cause I know what I want. So I like the chops on this first vocal, but I think it sounds a bit too clean, so I'm just going to mess with the formants. Look at me, me, me. Oh, yeah. Cause I know what I want. Look at me, me, me. Oh, yeah. That's all the melodic elements I want to add to this one, so next I'm going to start adding some drums. All of the drums that I use in this video are from the 404 drum kit and I'll leave some links to that in the video description. I'm going to start these drums off with a snare. Right, I'm going to copy this snare pattern and just layer it up with another one. Next, I'm going to add my hi-hat and the pattern for this is going to stay quite simple. I'm actually going to miss this downbeat and hit on every half beat. And then I'm going to add some extra ones in between. Next, I'm going to add an open hi-hat and all I'm going to do here is hit play and click them in where I think they'll sound good. Right, 
Next, I want to add that iconic garage bass, so I've gone to Serum and chose the organ bass. What I'm going to do first, though, is come into the effects section and add some distortion to it. I'm going to stay on the soft tube setting and then just increase the drive until it sounds good. And next, I just need to come up with a bouncy pattern that follows the root notes of my chord progression. So that bass line sounded good, however I want to layer it up with a more deeper sub bass, so I've chose the BA sub from Syrah. Then just so my organ bass comes through first, I'm going to add some attack to this sub bass. That's all of the elements I want to add to this beat, so all that's left to do now is start mixing and arranging it. And that is going to bring us to the end of the video. I really enjoy making these different types of music, so if there's a genre that you'd like to see me cover, then let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, or if you learned anything new from it, then make sure to hit the thumbs up button before you leave. And if you're new to the channel, then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. As I said earlier, all of the drums that I used in this video are from the 404 drum kit, and I've left a link to that in the video description. I'll leave you a video with some of my favorite free instrument plugins up here. Then I'll just leave you a random video from the channel down here. Big shout out to anybody that's still here at the end of the video. I've been Error. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one.